Hello, I'm Andrea from the Creative Dream Incubator and the Creative Magic Academy, and this is Creative Dream TV. I'm going to be answering your questions about creative dreams and how to bring them to life. I love creative dreams. I love bringing creative dreams to life, both my dreams and your dreams. I love talking about creative dreams, so I'm really, really looking forward to this, this video series. I started by asking my email list for questions about um, what kinds of things they're facing in the process of bringing their dreams to life. And my intention for this video was, was to answer the first question. And so I made a video answering the question, wasn't quite happy with it. Picked a different question, made a video answering that question, wasn't quite happy with it. And I realized I had fallen into a creative dream pitfall. And so I wanted to talk about that instead, partially because that's where I am and it's always best to speak from where you are. And because this is actually, I realized the thing, one of the things that really stops us from beginning. So it's a really great thing to talk about right in the beginning of this new series. So it was happening. I was making videos. I wasn't happy with them. I was starting to feel really like anxious and unsure and like, hmm, what's going on here? And like, maybe this wasn't such a good idea and maybe I can't do this and maybe these videos are going to suck. Maybe everyone's going to hate them. Maybe everyone's going to unsubscribe from my email list. Maybe I'll never have another client. Maybe I'll have to go back to that, that old day job I used to have. Um, all of these thoughts kind of are going in, in my mind and then and then there's me saying no no like I'm totally I'm totally not going there so I'm just gonna keep working on this I'm gonna try a different question make another video try a different question make another video and and, and meanwhile it wasn't feeling right <sighs> so I just stopped I got out my journal I started writing found there were different um, different parts of me like inner critics and inner children and just like scared parts of me who 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 were arguing about how to do these videos and how to approach it and it's like everyone has their own view and nobody wanted to listen to anyone else and it was just like grr, 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 grr. and so I couldn't create in that kind of um, inner atmosphere right and so the more I explored it I realized what was happening beneath all of that was fear of vulnerability which is totally um, reasonable. It's completely reasonable to be afraid <laughs> because vulnerability is scary. And when you're creating something and then putting it out into the world, it's terrifying. It's always terrifying. It doesn't matter how many times you've already done it. Every time you create something new and put it out into the world, you have to be willing to be vulnerable. Now, that level of vulnerability, bringing something out in, into the world where anyone can see it, can be so scary that we try to mask what's happening there with other things. So you start saying, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll do these videos when I have a better camera. I'll, I'll do these videos, but first I have to make some kind of backdrop. I'll do these videos, but first I need to take this course. I'll do these videos, but first I need to build a bigger audience. And then you end up following these paths of these other things first and not doing the thing um, that you really want to be doing, the thing that you're inspired to be doing. Creative dreams are not accidents. Inspiration is not an accident. When you are inspired to bring something to life, it means now is the time. It means you have the resources. It means there is a way to do it now. Scary, that's scary. And so we tend to say, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not ready. I need this, I need that. And then we sort of like um, end up kind of swirling around it and not actually being present with the thing that we want to bring to life. So this, as I said, is one of the big pitfalls that keeps us from beginning. So if that's where you are, if, there, if you know what you want to do, if you're inspired, and if you're not actually doing it, you need to look at ways to start doing it today and ways to make yourself feel safe to start doing it today. 
you know, you can honor the fact that it takes a tremendous amount of vulnerability to bring your creative dreams to life, to bring them out into the world and to allow others to see them. You can honor how scary that is, how much vulnerability it will take to be there, how much inner strength it takes to put your stuff out there not knowing how it's going to be received. You can honor all of that by finding ways to take baby steps that that lead right to where you want to go. So not baby steps like, I'm going to start saving money to buy a new camera and a backdrop. And meanwhile, I'm just actually delaying this dream by another six months or a year or whatever. But baby steps towards, I'm going to make a video, but I'm scared of me being in it, so I'm not going to appear. I'm going to make a video with my artwork and I'm going to speak. And it's only going to be 20 seconds long. And I'm only going to share it on, on Facebook with, with my friends. I'm not going to put it on my website. See, that's a baby step. That's something that you're, you're doing the thing you want to be doing, and you're just creating parameters where you feel safe doing it. And then you just keep stretching it a little bit and stretching it a little bit. Because your dream is calling you. Your dream wants to be seen. You're, it's, you wouldn't be inspired to do the thing now if, if now wasn't the time. And your dream wouldn't want to go out into the world if there wasn't somewhere in the world a receptive audience for it. And so learning to really trust all of that is a process. We don't start already believing that and trusting it. We start with tiny little baby steps. So if there's something that you want to be doing and you're not doing it, there are two questions to ask yourself. The first one is, what small thing can I do today that will move me forward? And the second one is, what can I do to support myself in feeling safe as I move forward and bring this dream into the world? And your answers to those two questions are what help you create your unique path to bringing your dream to life. And I will see you next week with the next video.